What is going on fellow Pokemon card collecting enthusiasts? This is Jay Scotty Sun back with another Pokemon video. And in this video, I have 70 cards that I'm submitting to PSA today. And I wanted to go through them. Uh, the majority of them are not mine. They are individuals who felt that I was trustworthy enough to send their cards in. So first up, we have these Snatch Steel. So these are gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are from 2002, mostly. Um, I don't know much about them. Uh, I haven't checked their condition. Uh, I didn't feel the need to. Uh, the guy who submitted these uh, has submitted through me before, and he got a 9 and a 10 on his last two Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I feel like he knows what he's doing in terms of determining the condition of his structural integrity uh, for the cardboard. <laughs> so... Those are them, uh, and then these are the rest of his uh, Pokemon cards, which is what most of you guys watch my videos for. So mainly they're just a bunch of reverse hollows from Expedition and from Aquapolis. And then he's got some non-hollow rares. Uh, this Dark Blastoise, this first edition Dark Blastoise, Dark Kadabra, Dark Golbat, Jolteon, couple Flareons, three Dragonair, I did take a gander at the backs of these, and one of the Dragonairs seems to have a bit of whitening. Yeah, this one. Uh, I don't think it's going to grade very well, but one of them will get a 9, <laughs> I'd imagine. Uh, Dark Hypno, three Dark Gyarados, uh, an Ampharos, which I think is really cool, from 2012. The Gold Star Greninja, that is a very hard card to get in a 10. Zoroark, and a No Symbol Venomoth. Then we have my cards coming up. Yeah, these are my cards. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to throw this one in, uh, even though it's 1995, and according to PSA, they only do 1996 and after, but I put this one as 1996, and we, as collectors, know that this, this card's not even 1995 anyway, so we'll see. I think this will get a 10. I'd probably get upcharged for that too. Uh, not exactly sure what these grades will be but i think this one will also get a 10. uh relic hunter blaine's arcanine i had three of those and it's the best one of the bunch uh arceus swampert that one has a shot at a 10. uh the field worker i added that in check out that mew chilling in the background let's zoom in on him Ooh, that artwork's fire that'll probably get a nine uh the gardevoir and then my buddy Ben submitted these cards. A bunch of Charizards to start off. Uh, got a Mew, Rayquaza, Ho-Oh. Not expecting a good grade on that one. Uh, and then I was gonna throw in a few of these uh, Merlin cards. Not cards, but stickers. Uh, because uh, the guy who sent in those Yu-Gi-Oh cards wants to send this in and see if they grade it. So I'm gonna send these in and see if they grade these. This one's made by Nintendo in 2004 in Japan. Uh, the centering's really good on it, uh, and the front looks pretty good too. So hopefully, uh, PSA actually grades those. We will see though in about five to six months time. Uh, PSA's already gotten through my bulk submission that I did in June, so I'm pretty, well, I mean, they've, they've graded it already and it's in further processes, which is phenomenal. Uh, the turnaround times are seeming to be really, really quick now, uh, comparatively to the last year and a half, but not before that. All right, that's it for the video, everybody. Let me know your thoughts on the submission. 70 cards going out to PSA today. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.